The Marvels could go down as one of the best comedies of the year. I'm telling you, friends, I laughed out loud at the Marvels. I enjoyed my hour and 39 minutes of a briskly paced, absolutely stunning and brave, hilarious movie called The Marvels. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I had zero expectations, and I came out with a smile on my face because... My God, that movie was terrible. It was so bad. It was hilarious. There are so many plot holes and so many contrivances and so many contradictions to the current MCU. I don't even know how this made it out as a movie. I think it's hysterical. I recommend you see it. I can't believe it's doing as bad as it is because people by word of mouth should just be like, that is one of the worst movies I have seen, especially for the budget. It's hysterical. I thought it was hilarious. I couldn't believe the things that were showing up on screen. So inconsistent. But if you saw the trailer, you know the plot. And I, I'm not going to give you the whole plot. And I'm going to try not to spoil it for you. But I'm going to give you a little tiny bit of a taste. So what you get there is you have basically what you saw on the plot. The three characters, Captain Marvel, who you may know, and then two other characters who you may not know because you probably did not watch the shows they were on. You have Miss Marvel, who starred in her own show that was the lowest rated show on Disney Plus for the the Marvel like MCU. And then you have Photon, Captain Monica Rambeau, who you may have seen in WandaVision or probably didn't and don't remember her from anything else. They briefly gloss over their backstories and just give you exposition as you launch into the world of three of them combined. Like they get their powers mixed up where they keep swapping places and they fight an angry lady who's got grills in her mouth. She has grills because who knows? They thought it was cool looking. I've never seen. It's one of the thinnest paper thin villains with zero anything in it. There's no character development. There's no... There's barely a plot. I mean, it is just the most threadbare movie. You could tell this thing was torn to shreds in editing. But it's hilarious because none of it makes any sense. There are... In fact, if anything, it's a little bit of a ripoff of other stuff that I've seen. Mostly Spaceballs. I mean, if I told you that this is basically the plot of Spaceballs, not the whole plot of Spaceballs, because that's far more complicated than this. Just the most basic plot of Spaceballs, where they're you they're basically sucking away resources from other places. That's the movie. That's it. I hope that's not too much of a spoiler, but you know, there's not much to spoil. Like I said, billions of people die. People barely care. It's not even... Obi-Wan had a bigger re- reaction when billions of people died. These people, they're just like, I'm really sad and mad at you because I have Fifi's. So in between the the scenes of Fifi's and the scenes of terrible action and absolutely pretty bad CGI... You've got the Marvels, which is just so cringy. It's 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 funny, and I was under the I don't know. The whole thing is just unbelievable, and I just don't know what to make of it other than to laugh because it's funny. Like I said, I had zero expectations, and I came out laughing. So you won this time, Marvel, even though. This is the lowest opening of any MC movie, MCU movie ever. Lower than even the original Hulk, which was filmed or was released in 2008, right before Iron Man or around the, the same time. That released to what? A total of 55 million or something like that. Ant Man made 57 million in 2015. The Incredible Hulk, which was released with Universal, but is still part of the MCU, 
was 55.4 million. I mean, it didn't do as bad as Morbius. And this is better than Morbius, in my opinion. Morbius is a cringe fest. This is better. There's an entire song and dance sequence in this. And guess what? Brie Larson, and this is a tiny bit of a spoiler, they Disney-fy her. She's now a princess. Were you excited for that? Sorry if I spoiled that for you. They're saying it costs about $200 million. I'm hearing it cost about $300 million with marketing, maybe three forty dollars with marketing. It was reshot numerous, numerous, numerous times. And this is the sequel, if you recall, to a billion-dollar movie. They made $1.13 million on the first Captain Marvel. But we all knew it had problems. We've talked about this numerous times in the past. I won't beat a dead horse. But what I will say is I'm... They don't even appear to be watching the their own things that they make anymore. It's as if they watched a couple of things and then stopped watching because Secret Invasion, which is featuring the scrolls and the scrolls play some sort of part in this, it's as if that never happened. It's irrelevant. You'd think it would connect because there are scrolls. In fact, we were told that the scrolls, did you know there was an emperor of the scrolls? I didn't know that because I was told in Secret Invasion that Talos was the head of all the scrolls, but apparently he's not. There's an emperor. We were also told that, you know, the scrolls were big mad against Nick Fury and big mad against Captain Marvel because, you know, they never helped the scrolls find a planet to re, you know, colonize. But wait, they did in this. They showed it to us. So it's as if they don't watch their own shows. Secret Invasion, absolute waste of time. You won't even believe the setups that they tried to do in this movie. The things that they are setting up, you are going to be, there's no way those need to be made. And if they continue going in this direction, they are sorely mistaken. Holy cow. This is, it's a word. That's weird. I don't know. The laugh value alone makes it better than The Eternals because The Eternals is a boring slog. And Ant-Man and the Wasp tries real hard to be a real movie but just can't quite become a real boy. This movie, though, it's just hysterical. How many times I was like, that doesn't make any sense or just laughing at the screen because of the horrendous acting, CGI, everything. There's such little good to say about this other than it made me laugh. And you know what? I you can't you can't fault them for that. It's an unintentional comedy. This could be one of those so bad it's good movies that you if we can come up with a drinking game together, maybe I'll go back and watch it. Let's talk about this, folks. What could we do every time you cringe, maybe you have to drink? Every time there's like a plot hole you have to drink, maybe every time they're supposed to like swap powers every time they use their powers, but then they freely use their powers. In fact, there's a point where, you know, there's been lore that's set up that they just completely ignore. Again, they ignore the death of billions of people and just talk about their feelings. So you tell me, folks, what did you think of this? Were you, I know most of you probably didn't see it. Maybe you're just watching this to hear what I have to say about it. I'm going to tell you a lot of people will catch this on streaming because word of mouth is going to get out that you have to see this dumpster fire because it's funny. You will enjoy. I guarantee you, if you go into it with like, this is going to be hilarious and terrible, you will enjoy it. But if you take it seriously as an MCU movie, it's, it's the, it's gotta be one of the worst ones. It's definitely in the bottom, like three for sure. It's a terrible movie made by terrible people <laughs> who don't want to be in the movie. You know, poor Amon Vellani. She tries so hard, that poor girl. She seems like a very nice girl. But you know what they, You know what I did notice? They bring out Brie Larson's bolt-on tigums, but they don't show any of the other girls' skin because those girls are being a little thick. Very disappointing. For Marvel, not for me, because I enjoyed it. So... Let me know what you thought. In the meantime, entertain yourself by catching our live stream here on YouTube. We love for you to come and join us. 
You can also catch it on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, Rumble, those great places and more. We love all y'all. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you get as much an enjoyment out of the Marvels as I did. I, I, I guarantee if you catch it on, it's absolutely worth seeing on streaming. You will enjoy yourselves because you're just going to be like, why did Nick Fury allow them to build the Titanic? And if you remember, the Titanic doesn't have enough life rafts. So anyway, I'm out of here. I am on to the next one.